across Acadiana. And our Vermilion Parish reporter Penelope Lopez is actually in Maurice, where trick-or-treating is now happening there. And she's with Mr. Woody, who's continuing his Halloween tradition for kids in his neighborhood. Penelope? Thank you, Jasmine. Uh, that's right. We're here in Maurice at Mr. Woody's house. He is known in the community for making cotton candy. Let's take a look at how he's keeping these sweet traditions 10 years later. All the kids get excited about cotton candy. They ask, Mr. Woody, are you making cotton candy again? Yes, I am. Every Halloween. It's a decades-long tradition. Mr. Woody. For me, it's been one of my favorite days of the year. Also known in the Maurice community as the Cotton Candy Man, is swirling up sweet treats once again for Halloween. It feels great. It's actually become a part of the community. Everybody talks about the cotton candy, and people say they, they uh, actually decide where they're going to go trick-or-treating, whether they stop here first or last. They, they plan when they're coming. And he says rain or shine. He, along with his wife Michelle and friend Ronnie, are devoted to keeping the tradition alive for the children in the community. Well, like last year, normally we make this at the office where it's air conditioned and it's a lot easier to do, but we can't transport cotton candy in the rain because it'll melt just like everything else. So we're making it here. We've got the door open to let air condition in the garage. And uh, this is only the second time we've had to make it in the garage, but rain or shine, we're going to have cotton candy. And it's not too late to get some of these sweet, delicious treats. You can still come in Maurice. They'll be here or rain or shine. And now to Paris, who I'm told is at a beautiful event. Paris, how's it going? Playing here as I'm live here at the Nerd Game.